Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another slow cook and speed clean with me video. Today I'm throwing some chicken chili into the crock pot. It's just a recipe I'm making up as I go. And I'm gonna get as much of this house cleaned as possible. Adam just went back to work and the house is a wreck. So by the time I'm done, dinner should be done in the crock pot. If you guys enjoy these videos on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to the video. Before I got started on dinner, I had to get the boys started on school for the day and then I wanted to get the breakfast dishes cleaned and clean up the kitchen a little bit just to have a clean space to get dinner going. So to make this chili, I have a can of Great Northern Beans, some Golden Hominy, some Cannellini Beans, and a can of Dice Green Chilies. I also have some Chicken Broth, some Minced Garlic. Then I'm going to season everything with some Cumin, some Oregano, Cayenne Pepper, Onion Powder, some Chili Powder, and some Salt and Pepper. I have four chicken thighs that I chopped up into one inch cubes. If you wanted to use chicken breast, you could do that as well. And I'm just gonna get this seasoned up with my seasonings and get it thrown into the crock pot.
I rinsed my cans of beans and my hominy. Then I got my chicken into the crock pot that I sprayed with some nonstick spray. Then I added in my diced green chilies. I only used about half the can. I would suggest using the whole thing because in the end I think it didn't have enough. And on top of that I'm adding in my beans and hominy. I added in about three quarters of my carton of chicken broth. Put this on low and let it cook for six hours. Next I wanted to get the living room cleaned up a little bit and then I'm going to get started on the schoolroom. This room was absolutely terrible. I have curriculum all out that I've been going through to get rid of. There's just stuff everywhere, all the things I've cleaned out of other rooms that need to go to Goodwill and all that kind of stuff. So I just need to get this cleaned up and organized.
Okay, so this room is as good as it's gonna get for now. I got everything cleaned up. I need to vacuum still. I got their table where it's usable again. Over here I have Garrett's new curriculum, which has no room on the shelf yet because got this file cabinet from my dad and we painted it blue. Some of it already scratched off, of course. But this thing goes in here to hold the file folders and I don't have the hanging folders yet. But a lot of stuff on this shelf, probably everything up here is all pre-K and kindergarten that I'm not going to need because we're getting Tucker new curriculum. So the stuff I can sell, I'm going to sell and any of this other stuff that's from Garrett that will save for Tucker, I'm going to put in the file cabinet. But first I need the folders. So once all that's in there, I'll have room for his new curriculum on the shelf. Over here is curriculum I'm selling. That's going to a friend. This is for sale on Facebook. I'm giving that away on Facebook. And then I have some stuff that I still want to go through, either take it to Goodwill or I'll post it on Facebook. So. All this stuff is going to go, but right now I don't have anywhere else to put it. And other than that, the room is clean again. So all I need to do is vacuum. The boys are outside playing. I think I'm going to go see what they're doing. And then I'll probably clean up our bedroom. So I was going to come in here to clean the boys' room. And to my surprise, it's actually pretty clean. There's a little bit of mess over here. Clean that up real quick. So kind of make their beds a little and they're good. My chicken chili had about an hour left to cook. I added in half a block of cream cheese to let that melt, as well as a fourth a cup of heavy cream.
When everything was all done, I tasted it and I thought it needed a little something more, so I added in a little bit of seasoned salt and some lime juice. To top off our chili, we have some Monterey Jack cheese, some sour cream and avocados, limes, diced red onion, some jalapenos, and two kinds of chips. This turned out really, really good, and I'll definitely be making it again. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to join our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one.